Hi, my name is Shira Rubinoff. I'm here with Sam Warner, Vice President, Product Management at IBM Storage. Sam, welcome. Pleasure to be speaking with you again. Oh, it's great to be speaking with you again as well. Thank you. So today, data is growing exponentially, and so are cyber attacks. That's one of the top concerns for many companies. Cybersecurity, but specifically how to address this with agility in hybrid cloud deployments. How can IBM Storage help these companies address this? The thing is, is when a cyber attack or a ransomware attack happens, actually the most important thing in speed of recovery is actually getting your data back so you can start your application up. If you think about a ransomware attack, they've actually encrypted your data. So how do you have backups across your on-premises infrastructure and in the cloud and have a common way to protect that data and then restore it? And then you talked about exponential data growth. You got to have automation. There's so much data. You can't hire enough people to do that recovery. Yeah, no, that's very true. And can you give us some examples of how you've seen organizations successfully improve this data resilience? Yeah, well, IBM has delivered a great capability called Safeguarded Copy. We just, we've had it on our DS8000. We just brought it to our Flash system family and it allows a administrator to establish a policy that creates snapshots of their data. Mm -hmm. Then in the event something happens, they can very quickly recover the data because it's all contained within the system. We create a logical air gap of the data by making it inaccessible to the host and creating uh, different policies for different users to keep the data safe. And then we give you a very quick path to recover. And we have several customers doing that and they've been able to reduce the time of recovery what would normally be weeks. I think the average is 23 days to recover. They can do it now in hours. Well, that's pretty amazing. And many organizations also worry about cost, of course, CAPEX versus OPEX, and the ability to access the best technology and demand peaks without breaking the budget. What are some deployment options customers have available when they're thinking about IBM storage? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you've got to continue to add capacity. You talked about exponential data growth earlier. You got to be able to respond very quickly. Uh, digital transformation is accelerating the amount of digital assets that enterprises have now, and they have to be able to add storage quickly. They want cloud-like agility, both in the cloud and on-premises. So IBM just announced storage as a service. We'll give you the same model you're used to in the cloud. We'll put storage in your data center. You pay for what you use, and it's completely 100% OPEX model. So that's the new IBM storage as a service, which we just announced. Oh, wonderful. And anything else you want to share with our audience about IBM storage? Well, I mean, we've got probably some of the best kept secrets in the storage industry within our portfolio going everywhere from hybrid cloud to data and AI. So for any of your you know, projects you have coming up, I, I definitely check out what we have and, and we've got some great assets to help you and a lot of smart people that can help you solve your big problems. Oh, wonderful speaking to you again, Sam, and very exciting enhancements we're hearing from IBM. Thank you. Thank you.